everyone, my name is Anna from Easy Options. Today I want to talk about a simple, effective, and highly profitable trading strategy, scalping. And I wanted to show you how I scalped from an Iron Condor Zero DTE trade. Scalping is a very short-term intraday trade that capitalizes on rapid stock intraday movement to make a quick profit. So to put it in simple words, it's basically buying and selling a stock with tight risk to capture a quick move in the direction of your trade. Remember for scalping, you need to follow a system and have a plan. You should get in quickly and get out quickly. You have to take the stops seriously. You should have the ability to perform technical analysis to follow the short-term moving average to effectively find areas of movement to scalp, need to understand volumes of bid versus ask, and have the ability to exit when the trade is against your direction. If you're a beginner, I would recommend you start with paper trades, get comfortable, and then trade with real money to scale your positions. Right, so let's dive into the alerts we sent out in our trading room. We chose the NASDAQ index, NDX, as it showed expansion in volatility, and we can leverage this to scalp. If NDX does tend to move violently, then we tend to cut the trade. So three essential confirmations before entering this trade. One, is NDX near a strong pivot level? Two, if there is sufficient real volume for the day? And three, is the level two showing relative consolidation of buyers and sellers in the technical chart? When these conditions are met, then there is quite a high probability that these options could decay quickly, netting us some good profits. At about 12.55 p.m., we entered the call credit spread at 15.020 over 15.120 for a credit of $25.47. There was decent volume and we were able to get filled almost immediately. In a few minutes, we entered the put credit spread at 15.020 over 14.920 for a credit of $11.56. And this gets filled as well. Let's do the math. Total credit received is equal to call spread premium plus put spread premium, that is $37.03 times contract size 100, which is $3,703. The margin required is the width spread times contract size, which is 100 point width times 100, equal to $10,000. Max loss for iron condor is calculated by subtracting the credit received from the width of the widest spread. In our case, both the spreads have the same width, or this is typically called a balanced iron condor. The max loss will be $10,000 minus $3,703, which is $6,297. Now, $3,703 profit for a $10,000 profit seems very, very attractive. Well, that is a whopping 37% return on investment, and you might be tempted to let it expire worthless. But do not forget why you entered this trade and why you received such a high premium. It is because of the market volatility. You have to be ready to exit the trade once you earn your targeted price point or exit the trade at a hard stop. We chose to close the trade at around $200 to $300 profit and since premiums were changing rapidly, we closed just within 10 minutes for a debit of $33.39. Thus, we received a total profit of $37.03 minus $33.39 times 100 equal to $364. We use scalping as a supplementary strategy to our Monday, Wednesday, and Friday zero DT trades. We would like to capture market volatility to earn some nice profit by scalping. However, it is my duty to be transparent with you and let you know the risks involved while scalping. First, it involves fast decision making and constant monitoring of positions. And it is very important for your orders to get filled. A bad or delayed fill can wipe out multiple small gains. We help our members by offering scalp trade alerts and providing insights, technical analysis, and more to make sure they can learn to become better scalp traders. 
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me below.